Barcelona attack chilling CCTV images show on the run Las Ramblas massacre driver fleeing calmly on foot moments after killing 13 inches. Chilling CCTV images show the Las Ramblas massacre driver calmly fleeing the scene on foot after killing 13 and injuring more than 100 others. Yunzaba Uyuk, 22. Abandoned the van he had plowed into pedestrians after the airbag was triggered, Catalan Daily La Vanguardia reported. Yunzaba Uyuk, 22, is being hunted after a group of fanatics massacred 14 people and injured 130. Police are scrambling to find a Ba Uyuk, whose documents were reportedly found in a second rented van. Chilling CCTV stills show the killer walking calmly from the scene of the massacre. CCTV has captured the main suspect wanted in connect and with the Barcelona terror attack. Yunzaba Uyuk is being hunted by police. Police release image of Yunzaba Uyuk who is believed to be the Los Ramblas terror attack van driver. The airbag's detonation reportedly immobilized the Renault Kangoo's electrical system, forcing him to end his massacre and flee. He would go on to stab another man to death before stealing his victim's Ford Focus to make his escape from Barcelona, police have revealed. Cops believe the attacker took the car about 90 minutes after the attack and rammed into officials at a police checkpoint before abandoning it with its owner's dead body inside. The 15th victim of last week's atrocities in Spain was killed in a separate attack by suspected Islamist militants hours later in a seaside resort in Cambrils. Victims included seven-year-old British boy Julian Cadman who has been described as an energetic, funny and cheeky boy. Cops have launched a Europe-wide hunt for Ba Uyuk and issued CCTV images in the hope of tracking him down. Catalan police chief Josep Luis Trapero admitted today that the fugitive could have changed his appearance since going on the run last Thursday. He said. We are asking for the public's help in finding him. We want any information people can give us about him, not only obviously about where he is now so we can catch him, but also details about his past, who he was, who his contacts were, the places he used to frequent. He may now have grown a three to four day beard and could obviously have changed his clothes. Police raided a Ba Uyuk's flat in Ripoll, around 65 miles from Barcelona, as they announced the terror cell behind the attacks has been dismantled. Pictures taken inside the rundown apartment show a book entitled The Life of the Prophet Muhammad on a mattress on the floor of a filthy bedroom. Clothes can also be seen spilling out of open suitcases and a hammer, scissors and nails can be seen scattered around the living room. Spanish Minister of Interior, Juan Ignacio Zoito, shows a picture of alleged terrorist Yanzaba Uyuk clothes were found spilling out of suitcases in the rundown flat A book entitled The Life of the Prophet Muhammad was found inside the bedroom tools and nails were seen scattered around the living room bodies lined the street in La S. Rambla S. in Barcelona, Spain following terror attack the apartment also contains a meager collection of trophies, including a junior climbing award. A trinket for completing a 10K run and health and safety diploma certificates. A Moroccan passport is also seen left on a table inside the flat. Police now believe a terror cell of up to 12 men were behind the terror attacks, revealing that it had been dismantled, but that a Ba Uyuk is still on the run. 
five terrorists were shot dead in the wake of the Cambrils attack, with four people arrested including in Ripple. The filthy apartment has been raided by police A Moroccan passport was found in the flat A junior climbing trophy on a shelf in the apartment said Ali reportedly left a note begging his parents for forgiveness Barcelona Beach in Barcelona was packed today as tourists refused to be frightened off the names of three of the five suspects shot down by police have been revealed as being said Ali, Mohamed Hichami and Masu Kabir, the baby-faced jihadi whose older brother Driss accused him of stealing his ID to hire the van that mowed down crowds was killed. It was today revealed that Ali, who was shot in the seaside resort of Cambrils left a suicide note in his room begging his parents for forgiveness for the harm he would cause. The handwritten letter, revealed by Spanish newspaper El Mundo, read, I beg forgiveness from the people who I can hurt in these days. Many thanks for everything you have given me. Two people died after a gas blast on Wednesday night, with fears they had been hoping to use a truck filled with explosives in another deadly attack. The group are thought to be known as the Tarragona Cell, a gang of jihadis who have recently returned from Syria. Police are scrambling to find a Ba Uyuk, whose documents were reportedly found in a second-rented van.